guess what day it is. No, it's not hump day. It's new photography news day. It's Sunday, July 21st, 2019, and it's time to recap the past week in photography news. Sony introduces a 61 megapixel full frame camera, while Sigma unveils the world's smallest full frame mirrorless camera. And have you ever wanted real life to look like a Wes Anderson movie? Now you can with these glasses. These stories coming up right after this. <laughs> It's been a long time since I filmed one of these, but this is issue three of my weekly photography news series. This is where I summarize the last week's important photography news from around the world. Meet the 61 megapixel Sony A7R4 full frame camera. This is Sony's highest resolution full frame camera ever. Its new back illuminated sensor is the first of its kind. It boasts extremely low noise and low light, high dynamic range, and smooth natural gradients from deep shadows to highlights while maintaining accurate color reproduction. Sounds like a beast of a camera, right? It gets better. The upgraded focus system can stay accurately tracking complex motions and sudden movements with the best precision an alpha has to offer. Want to get your photos from your camera to your computer as fast as possible? There is USB 3, high speed Wi Fi, and FTP remote server compatibility. So, by the time you're done shooting, your photos are already on your computer, ready for you to retouch. This may sound all well and good for photographers, but what about the filmmaker? Sony has you covered with 4K professional filming and other features. The new focusing system can even track your subject when it moves behind an object while you're shooting video. I'm not sure what kind of magic is involved in here, but it sounds pretty cool. There has also been upgrades to the body durability and moisture and dust resistance. The retail cost of this camera will be $3,500 and according to Sony, it should be shipping around September 2019. Sigma introduces the world's smallest full frame mirrorless camera. If you've ever wished that something as powerful as your professional DSLR camera was small enough to fit in your pocket like your cell phone, Sigma is reading your thoughts. But seriously though, Sigma has just announced the L mount Sigma FP. This is the world's smallest and lightest pocketable full frame camera according to Sigma. This camera is unbelievably small and lightweight, weighing only about 370 grams. They achieved this by leaving out the mechanical shutter. Sigma uses a 24.6 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor. The body has weather sealed and 3.2 inch touchscreen on the back. The ports include SD card, HDMI, flash sync, mic, headphones, USB 3 and remote shutter ports. For you filmographers out there, it can shoot 4K 24p, raw, and record straight to an external recorder through the USB 3. Sigma says this camera should be available in the fall and the price is still to be determined. Tens Spectrochrome sunglasses replace boring real life with Wes Anderson colors. Have you ever been watching real life and thought, huh, this is boring. It would have been better if it was a Wes Anderson film. Yeah, me too, all the time. These glasses are by a company called Tens, and they are a photographer made pair of sunglasses designed to give you the color palette of a Wes Anderson film. These glasses combine green and citron color shifts. Tens says that these are inspired by the distinct color palettes found in Wes Anderson films such as Moonrise Kingdom and The Royal Tannenbaums. If this company sounds somewhat familiar, it's because Tens first popped around 2014 when they unveiled Instagram filter inspired sunglasses for photographers. The new Spectrochrome sunglasses are launching in August 2019. You can pre-order them right now on Indiegogo with a contribution of $89, link in the description. Okay. That's all I have for you this week. Be sure to check back with me next week for more photography news. How did you feel about this installment? Any big photography news that I forgot to mention? Let me know in the comments. I'll be pinning the best comments to the top. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. 
hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos and I'll be chatting with you guys in the comment section between videos. So let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see next. If you're still watching and want more, check out these other videos. As always, happy shooting.